Maggie is our eight-year-old who is on the autism spectrum. And if you've watched Maggie and I communicate in a lot of our videos, you will see a lot of scripting. Scripting is basically where she takes these pieces of language that she has heard before, oftentimes from television or from books. And in her case, a lot of times it's just names, nouns, her favorite words, and she'll put them together in lists and she'll just have me repeat them back to her. There's lines that she's supposed to say, there's lines that I'm supposed to say. It's almost like a play. Hi. I'm Molly. I'm Molly. I'm Gil. I'm Gil. I'm Gobi. I'm Gobi. I'm Dima. I'm Dima. I'm Una. I'm Una. I'm swimming. I'm swimming. Good job changing up the song. I'm swimming in the sea. Molly is a mermaid with a... Una. Molly is a mermaid with a... Una. Una. Okay, Una is a... Una is a mermaid with a... Freckle on her toe. And she swims, swims, swims way under the... Maggie has a freckle on her toe. Maggie is a mermaid with a... And she swims, swims, swims way under the... And sometimes she gets really frustrated with me if I don't say the right line. One of them is, I'll say, Molly is a mermaid with a, and she'll say, freckle on her toe. And then I'm supposed to say, and she swims, swims, swims down under the, and she says, see. But that's actually one of the more complicated ones that's a little bit less frustrating for me because there's a little bit more to it. And the reason that we say that one is because Molly is her favorite bubble guppy, and Maggie has a freckle on her toe. So she loves it when I say that Molly has a freckle on her toe too. However, a lot of the time, it's really just an example that you probably see on the videos a lot, is her listing the names of the bubble guppies over and over again. So she'll be like, Molly, Gil, Dima, Una, or the intro bubble guppy song over and over and over again, just saying the words to it over and over again. And maybe I'll say it 30 times and I'll be like, okay, all done. And she'll be pretty upset that we're all done because she wants to say it a thousand times. So that is scripting. Usually a lot of the times when we're doing scripting, I'll try to expand on what she's saying. So if she says water park, water park, water park, I'll say Maggie likes to go to the water park. I like to go to the water park. The water park is fun. I'll just try to expand what she's saying. We go down slides at the water park. We play in the water at the water park. Just to sort of expand her language beyond just saying one thing over and over and over again. And sometimes she gets really excited about that and other times she's not in the mood. So it depends on the day. Whether or not new things are something that she's really happy about or that she's not happy about at all. So scripting wasn't really a thing early on. I mean, she definitely, when she was Tessie's age, I didn't realize whether or not it was a thing. She definitely had a few words, but she didn't have that many words. She had more words than Tessie has right now. She'd say like, boots on, to tell us that she wanted her favorite pairs of boots on. And she called Patch Ma's baby. So she had several two word phrases that she would say frequently. She would call herself good girl. So she did have some little phrases, but I don't remember ever being aware of scripting. But at that point, I don't think I even knew what scripting was. It surprised me the other day when I realized that Tessie is already scripting. She still has less than 10 words. She does not have very many words. Although I was surprised the other day when she said the word waffle. Now, if you're new here, since I just jumped from Maggie to Tessie, Tessie is our two and a half, almost three year old. She'll be three at the beginning of summer. Our th almost three year old who is also on the autism spectrum. She was diagnosed right after she hit 18 months. We were pretty confident her entire life that she was following in her sister's footsteps of being on the spectrum also because her development just seemed a little bit different from the average child. And so we were definitely not surprised when she was diagnosed. So I did not expect scripting from Tessie this young. And she definitely isn't scripting with me like Maggie does. So it's not scripting in that way. But I am calling the scripting, at least to myself, when I see her doing it. Because the other day, 
we were at speech. I told her speech therapist that if I pick up my phone and I turn it around so that she's looking at it with the camera on, she'll just start talking and talking and talking. And so sometimes I do that just to get her to use her words, make her sounds, because she'll make all these great sounds. And it's really cool to see the way that she's interacting with herself on the screen. And I love to see that. So I started doing it almost every day. Just, I mean, like, for probably less than a minute each day. But I love to see her expressions and hear the sounds that she makes and to get that language because a lot of times Tessie can sit there for hours and be totally silent and hardly make any words even when I'm talking with her. I, just, I mentioned that to her speech therapist and I brought up one of the videos to show her and we brought it down there and her speech therapist was watching it next to Tessie and when Tessie came on the screen, as soon as she started talking, Tessie started saying the exact same words at the exact same time that she was saying them on the screen. And her speech therapist looked at her and she goes, how did you know that you were going to say that? She just said the exact same thing. And I was like, yeah, I know. And we were both kind of shocked. But then I took out my camera a few days later and I put it up again and I noticed she said the same words. And so then I kept doing it and I've been paying careful attention to what she's been saying. And it's not exactly always the exact same thing, but it's some variation of na, 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 go, 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 with some other things thrown in now and then. But there's some na some amount of nas, and usually the nas are like in a high voice, like she'll go like, na, 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 go, 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 na, go. And so I have no idea really what she's saying, other than go is one of her words. But she apparently does. And she knew exactly what it was and remembered what it was so that she could say it exactly back with herself when she was watching the video, which I thought was really, really cool. So I'm calling that Tessie's first script. And I'm gonna show you some of those videos because they're pretty cute. <laughs> um. And I know I'm her proud mom, so I kind of have to say this, but I think it's pretty cool that she already has her own little baby script that she's doing. <laughs> Anyways, I just had to share that because I thought it was kind of neat. That is it for today. If you like this video, we would love it if you would give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in all things autism, we would love it if you'd hit subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.